Hey, Lou. Well, you know, I'm looking for you. Dr. Smith, call operator. Hello, Brooke. Good evening, Doctor. Dr. Smith, call operator two. Dr. Thomas, wanted in surgery. Brooks. Dr. Thomas wanted well, to Well, how does it feel? The reaction hasn't set in yet. Like a woman who's just had a baby, I won't believe it until <laughs> I see it. I hear it was pretty tough. It was for me. But then I don't think state boards can be tough enough. Well, that's one thing doctors agree on. After they pass the examination, they all want it made tougher for the next one. Congratulations, Doc. Same to you, Eddie. Anytime you need any help in pathology. I'll look you up. <laughs> Well, it looks like a busy night. The chance to polish up your hem stitching. That's what tickles my wife. <laughs> what I tell her, I sew people up. She wanted me work on an old sock. <laughs> I'll bet she's happy you finished your year at County, huh? I suppose so. That part of it hasn't been much fun. It's no good a man's wife supporting him, his mother, and the rest of the family. Well, it's over now. Dr. Wharton, call prison ward. Dr. Wharton, call prison ward. <laughs> Dr. Wharton. Oh, I see. Well, Brooks will cover. Thank you. One of the interns in the prison ward is reported sick. You take over until he gets back. Right. But Dr. Wharton, I've applied to stay on here another year. Junior resident? Why? Because I think it's more important than a few extra dollars, a little easier living. I've got a lot to learn. Well, you'll always have a lot to learn. I don't mean it just that way. I'm not sure of myself yet, in many ways. I think I need a little more time than the others. I'll be happy to have you with me for another year. I was hoping you'd say that. I think that if I left you now, I'd never again find anyone as considerate and interested. My interest in you, Brooks, is no greater than in any other good doctor on my service. Good night. Hello? Prison ward, Brooks. You on your way? So as I get my whites on. Be right up. Dr. Billings, call Ward 7. Dr. Billings, call Ward 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try information. Right over there. Right there. That's the window right there. Hold it, Lefty. All the way up tonight, Lefty, I'm a prison ward. You mind going down? Someone's leaning on emergency, right? What about that new exam you had to take? I thought you was a regular doctor already. State board? Everybody's got to take it, so you can get your license to practice. Well, the boys are saying it's just for colored doctors. Well, you can tell the boys it's for all doctors. I bet they laid it on you. No more than anybody else. They don't even ask your name. They give you a number. They look at your number. They know. They got ways of knowing. Oh, why don't you quit? What's it about? For the prison ward. Shot in the leg, both of them. I caught them sticking up a gas station. A couple of two for a nickel tough guy. Hey, officer, will you bend down for a minute? I want to polish a badge. You sure I hit this one in the leg only? Right over the knee, one shot. And what's it to you? 
Clean that up. Where's your mop? Take him away. <laughs> hey, Mac, I thought this was a hospital. You got mixed up. We're at the Cotton Club. How you doing, Johnny? Not, not too bad. No, no, I'm over here, Johnny. Not too bad. Ah, slug in the leg don't mean a thing. We'll be out of here in a week. A week, is it? I'll make bookets for two years or more. Right, for how right, much, yeah. Big Mouth? The Biddle brothers, look at him. Ray, he's the king of Beaver Canal. Yeah, he's beat up more women and old people than anybody. Such bright boys. You don't figure a cop also knows a gas station's a set up in the rain. I pops this one through the window, and he drops. Then this one, he gets hysterical or something, he runs toward me instead of his car. Then when he sees me, he turns around and runs into the pump. Then he misses me with a bullet, and I hit him with one. Will you tell me something about your brother? Sure, sure. What would you like to know? Has he ever been confused before in a sense of direction? Or maybe his sense of touch? Well, now let me see. Every time Beaver Canal went over to clean up nigger town, Johnny knew just what direction it was. You shut up. Of course, he could have just smelled where to go. Shut up, shut up. You're talking to a doctor. A doctor? Him? Lie back and lie still. You're in my charge. Who's your friend, Kowalski? Public enemies one and two. I'm Dr. Brooks. Yeah, they said you'd be up. Your first time here, isn't it, Doc? That's right. Have an empty room? Number five. Number five. All right, let's get them in there right away. What, you want to be booking them first? I'd like to turn them over. I think it's important to examine them first, him in particular. Okay. I don't want him. I want a white doctor. We'll turn the lights out and you won't know the difference. Haven't I got any rights? No. Will you be needing some instruments? You keep the cases locked? This ain't no maternity ward, Doc. Just get their pants off. Don't touch the dressings. I'll do that myself. Now, there's a gadget I've always wondered about. What are you going to do, wrap something around his leg? It's for examining the interior of the eyes. But they got shot in the leg. All righty, doctor. Thank you. I gave him cigarettes, OK? No. What are you doing to him? Try to hold your head like this. Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do what he says. 